I thought you had a little dildo in there. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just fucking get it out of Here's my problem with the town of Dildo. I had promised myself I wasn't going to do any more jokes about the town of Dildo. I thought, you know what? They're lovely people. They're fu fuck them. <laughs> they know. Don't pretend. They pretend like they don't realize the name the Dildo. They fucking they know. They know. <laughs> and I know they know because you know what? You don't have a town mascot who's a wooden statue. Like You fucking know. Three-day dildo festival. Three-day summer festival. Dildo days. With the slogan, come one, come all, you fucker. <laughs> you fuckers know exactly what you're doing. I guarantee you, you fucking know exactly what you're doing. Dildo Dory restaurant. Stuff yourself with the best. <laughs> Fuck off, you know exactly what people are thinking. <laughs> the green highway sign that said Dildo. 20 feet from it was another sign that said, careful, slippery when wet. <laughs> I can't make that up. That's not on me, that's on them. I can't talk, I don't really do that. Because they fucking did it. They fucking know it. <laughs> Dildo Museum. You know how many disappointed looking tourists I saw walking out there? <laughs> Fuck them! Fuck them, that's what I says. Town of Dildo, yeah. Oh, you can't miss us, we're right next to Spread Eagle! <laughs> go to dildo.com! It's the only time you go online looking for porn and find a fucking tourism website. <laughs> they know! I worked with a girl many years ago when I was working at that fucking bingo I was telling you about. I worked with a girl who was from Dildo. And she was always crying, always wanted to go home, hated being on the mainland. And you know, it reminded me of the saying, you can take the girl out of Dildo. <laughs> All right, Pacentia, you're great. Cheers.